All right, what's up, Fight fans, man? And let's get into this thing real quickly and straight to the point. Terrence Crawford tweeting about spinning the block and wanting to make the fight with uh, Earl Spence needs to sit down at the table with Al Heyman um, and his team and get this contract signed. We don't need no more of the foolishness that Terrence Crawford pulled off by walking away from this fight that we should have been seeing coming up um, with none of the excuses. And also from the Terrence Crawford a uh, uh, hardcore fan, uh, uh, delusionary fan base who suffers this high level of cognitive dissonance and not wanting to accept the fight that the, the fact that this dude ruined the damn division and also ruined that fight from happening, falling out. This dude ain't a business type dude. He ain't putting the funding up, and that other company he worked with ain't putting the funding up to taking this fight. Nobody in the sports knows them, and they haven't done anything. They should be putting on big fights with the backyard uh, uh, novice uh, boxers that are out there, you know, wanting to put on fights. That's what BOK Prime should have been doing. If they want to jump into the game, try to make it major, uh, uh, but not to interfere with a major fight. That just leads very, very bad uh, um impression upon how people view this company and that was the hugest mistake that company made by interfering and giving Terrence Crawford such a easy touch uh, uh nothing for him type of a uh, type of event that they put on and Terrence is feeling kind of the backlash from what he has done and he knows that no one has accepted what he's done. They don't give a dang how much you can talk about. He wanted to get this money. The fans don't care about that. They want to see the fights. And a lot of people put the money, uh, uh, you know, number crunching behind it because none of it made sense. It didn't, it, it, it wasn't good money. And it was a poor decision. It's a decision that's come back to haunt this dude. And now he's talking about wanting to get back to the table. So you coming back to the table, me, you need to grab your pen, nothing else but a pen, and put that name down there where it says Terrence Crawford or whatever, however they form, format this contract for you to sign it there. Not to sit here and talk about books and needing to see this. You don't know nothing about these numbers and the books that you're talking about because now you got to open it up to what failure you just pulled off. And 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 the fact that you're going to make money with Al Heyman, dude. You're going to make money with Al Heyman. There's been nobody has done so much bozo shit that has left damn uh, Bob Arum, and has faltered upon you know their upward path after leaving Bob Arum. Everybody leaves who who's of note that leaves Bob Arum sees tremendous success in their secondary career. Like, dude, wake up. And, and you delusionary fans wake up because I'm a Terrence Crawford fan, but I ain't delusionary fan and I don't suffer from cognitive dissonance. I have to accept what the reality of stuff is. But that's all I got, folks. Let's hope, hope that this dude signs his dang contract and we get this fight underway. But that's all I got. Peace.